Welcome to this week's Stillman Show. This week we're going to be bringing you on the road from St. Neots. St. Neots Town Football Club play at Rowley Park Stadium. The stadium has a capacity of approximately 3,500. Current chairman of the football club is Lee Kearns. Director of football is Ian Parr and the president is John Walker. Neots Town Football Club are known as the Saints. St. Neots play in the Southern Premier League Premier Division. The club was formed in 1879. It was known as Plain St. Neots. The first formal honour recorded being the Hunt Senior Cup in its inaugural season in 1888-89. St. Neots have played in the UCL. They've also won the Southern League Central Division title. The most successful season was 2014-2015 when the club reached fifth in the Premier League and got to the playoff final before losing to Truro City. They have a wonderful online TV channel and a great gantry for filming their matches and providing their supporters wonderful media opportunities. We've also got um, a look back from uh, some pictures from the 70s put together by Dave Telly. Wonderful piece that. We'll split that down in two parts for you. Player profile this week is on Jordan Crawford and his... Uh, excellent form and how he's going at this moment in time and a little interview there for you from Jordan as well. Hopefully you'll look forward to that. Um, we'll be looking at some of the other things happening around the club and keeping you informed with what's happening with some of the other teams, not just the first team. Going to the first team first of all, they were knocked out of the FA Trophy last weekend, as I'm sure many of you will know. Superb display in the first half. Got them in 2 0 ahead. Unfortunately, the team from the higher division, St. Neots, were just a little bit too strong in the second half. Um, I guess a draw would have been a, a more fair result, but we just couldn't hang on and uh, get ourselves over the line. But uh, the game will be remembered for. That Jordan Crawford wonder goal, which um, I'm sure you know, we will show you for sure. We're going to take a look at uh, goal of the month. Um, this has already been decided, but we thought we'd show you, show you the goals that were entered if you haven't seen them, and uh, you know, explain to you how that works. Basically, every month the end or the beginning of the month you will see the goals they will be put up on Twitter and you can go on to Twitter and you can vote for which you feel is the best goal of that particular month. The four goals this month were two from Stephen Leslie, the free kicks against Carlton and Sheffield FC. The wonder goal were Jordan Crawford against St. Neat and Leon Lovejoy's goal against Alchurch things we want to do is to mention people on the show. This week we've had a little message from Mikey who runs the Instagram uh, account, I believe, anyway, for Corby Town. He travels to the games from out of town, so we thought, you know, give him a mention. If there is anybody out there somewhere that wants a mention on the show, then you can send your information through to me or catch me at one of the games. Um, my email address that I'll use for this is howlingmad1967 at gmail.com. That's howlingmad1967 at gmail.com or you can contact me on Facebook Michael Laws. One of the pieces we've got this week we're going to show it in two parts is pictures and clippings from the 1970s where you're going to see some of the players that played for the Steelman from that era. Wonderfully put together by David Tilly. 
you will have the opportunity. Like I say, it's about four minutes long, so we're going to split it into two parts. So we'll do one part this week and one part next week. So uh, yeah, if anybody likes to look into the history of the club, then you know, have a look and uh, hopefully you enjoy it and see some people you might recognise. in the first team and uh, this is this little segment and uh, here it is followed by an interview. A few years ago Jordan Crawford was a big player in our youth team. He was part of the squad that won the knockout cup. He left to go to Harbour Town where he became a real fans favourite scoring against Corby in a pre-season friendly. Last season slowly working his way into the first team scoring against eventual champions Blythe Spartans. This season he has continued to impress chipping in with some great goals and his all-round wing play desire and determination to succeed. Jordan has earned a contract with the club. In the trophy game against St Neots he scored a brilliant goal. Unfortunately on the day it wasn't enough to see Corby through and although disappointed after the game we managed to have a chat with Jordan to see what he felt. Jordan, unlucky, um, a real game of two halves of uh, that one wasn't it? You, uh, yeah. you boys really came out of the traps today. Yeah, first half started off because I don't have to told to do really and that's why I got to two really early on. Second half. We didn't start quick at all, and then just like like uh, Kenny said, oh, well, after the game now we just went back five or six weeks and done everything we shouldn't be doing. And yeah, just, just unlucky today, really. Just not, not a bad uh, yeah, game to us. Let's talk about your moment of the game. It's a it's a great goal, isn't it? You must yeah. be, uh, and then and then obviously the one in the in the second half off the uh, the keeper's tipped onto the bar as well. It's, yeah. Uh, a, a similar one, but you must have been delighted with the goal. Great strike. Yeah, I mean, it's what I try to do all the time, really, just getting down the line, cutting in on my right. But yeah, it's one of my better ones of the season. Hopefully, I get a few more of them. And just as the games go by, I keep racking them up, really. But yeah, a few more to go, hopefully. I'm sure you guys will have. A, I'm sure you guys will have regrets about about today. But you know, it's been an, a fantastic run under under Stevie, hasn't it? Really, uh, really good run. I guess it had to end at some point, but. Yeah, we aren't going to win every game, but we want to try to win as many as possible and hopefully 
go back to the league on Saturday, hopefully build back on to what we were doing before with unbeaten running the league and just keep building on that really and just try to see how far we can go, just keep winning every game, see how many we can go. Yeah, it'll be good. I mean, that's got to be the target now, isn't it? Because this, yeah. this run of form has put you right in the right in the mix up there. Yeah, we want to keep it going. It's, that's all. We want to be up there competing, really, for the, for the league and whatnot. We want to see what we can do. We're good enough to do it. We, all, we know we're good enough to do it. We've got the team to do it, but... So whether enough we as the players just keep together and keep doing what we're doing to get them get the points on the board. And come Christmas time, end of the season, we'll see where we are. And just go again, keep going really, yeah. Going on to the youth team, they had the game last Monday. They played Corby Kingswood away. They managed to secure a 3-1 victory, which cements their second place in the North End Senior Youth League East Division. Goals from Zach Allen, Hilton Arthur and Dean McBride was enough to gain the victory. The next game is on the 6th of November at home to Rothwell Corinthians. The ladies team managed to cause an upset with a 2-1 victory away at Kettering Town. Goals from Nicole Cool, an 80th minute free kick. And a goal from Stacey McConville in the last minute of the game was enough to seal the victory. The ladies' next game is on the 5th of November. They're away at Northampton Town, kick off at 2 o'clock. And then the next game at home is against Peterbury United the following Sunday, kick off at 2 o'clock. This week's classic game is from 2015. It's a game at the top of the Southern Premier League. Corby were trying to chase down Pool Town. They had a home game against Wayworth in midweek um, in February. Um, it was a very important game. Both teams were at that point challenging for the title. It was a game that will be remembered not only for Corby's wonderful performance, but um, the unfortunate accident that uh, happened to Paul Malone, which caused a very nasty injury and kept him out of the game for many, many, many months. Uh, fortunately, Paul has returned to good health at this time and is back in the Steelman squad playing for them at this moment. So that's great. But anyway, sit back and uh, enjoy what was a truly wonderful night and a brilliant performance by the Steelman and a hat trick for Spencer Weir daily. And that fifth goal is still one of the best goals that I've seen. Enjoy it. Greg Mills over on the far touch line. He has a great shot. That's parried and there's Weir daily. Corby have the lead here. For pushing forward and putting on some pressure on this Weymouth. Uh, Matthews hasn't got that one and that's only half cleared. I think Yetton had the uh, header, the long throw in that Connor possesses. Here he goes, Malone flicks that one on, causes mayhem and Matthews quite a lot. Two defenders going for the same ball. They've made a mess of it. Here's Greg Mills. Where Daly's coming up. Mills decides to go alone. And Matthews gets happy now. Looks like uh, Stephen Morley's going to step up and take this one. Curls it in. Ah, that's a good save. Kick to Weymouth. Jason Matthews makes a long kick forward. Ball flicked on. There's Yatton. He's inside the box. Great stop by Walker and Malone goes in and he's gone down, he's rolling around. Paul Malone has been stretched away here and will take no further part in this game. Here's Carvalho, he picks the ball up, that's a great ball forward. There's Mills, Mills, Matthews comes out again and smothers. Weymouth are at sixes and sevens, Corby's pace up front is causing them all sorts of problems and there's Byrne. Taylor's going to take this one just out inside the D 2 0. Great goal from Cleveland Taylor at half time, really. Um, here come Weymouth, that's a good ball forward. There's Yatton, he picks it up, lays it out wide. 
cross. Walker hasn't got that. Tim Sills, 2 1. Weymouth have found a way back into this. Byrne plays the ball forward, laid off by Weir Daly into Milne. Mills going in and there's a push and that's a penalty, no question. Here he comes, Matthews going the wrong way, Mills, Mills has uh, picked that one up, he's racing forward, oh unlucky Welsh cuts that one out, tries to lump that one forward, Burn, um, Morley picks that one up, sorry, Burns got this one now, great ball over the top. Left square, there's Weir Daly, under Matthews, 4-1. Corner to Corby, right over on the far side. This one's floated in, half dink there. And that one's shot over. Not sure. Here's Carballo now, free kick. And Matthews gets that one well. Kept him quiet. Ball plays forward and there's Milnes, he dinks it over the top, there's Appleton and unlucky Corby really are bossing this game. Header out by Taylor, Taylor, Carvalho just inside his own penalty there, picks it up, running at the defender, defender goes in and he's skipped past him, He skipped past another one, now he's really going for it, great cross, we're daily, oh that's a brilliant goal. Absolutely. One. Ball plays into the box. Shouts of we want six. Here come Weymouth. Sills, he's played that one forward. Ball out your wide. That's a good save by Walker. There it is. 5-1. Probably a close.